Welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about an opportunity for exercises for you to practice at home. Today we will talk about 10 different types of exercises for men to practice at home. Jumping jacks are an efficient total body workout that you can do almost anywhere. This exercise is a part of what's called pilometrics or jumping training. Pilometrics is a combination of aerobic exercise and resistant work. This type of exercise work your heart, lungs, muscle at the same time. Specifically, jumping jacks work your glutes, quadriceps, hip flexors. Jumping jacks also involve your abdominal and shoulder muscle. What are the benefits? Pilometrics exercises like jumping jacks are intended to help people run faster and jump higher. That's because pilometrics work your by rapidly stretching your muscle and then rapidly shortening them. Other examples of pilometric exercises are burpees, squat jump, box jumps, and lung jumps. Jumping jacks may be a, an alternative to lunging miles of a treadmill or stationary bike. All of exercises help raise your heart rate, but jumping jacks also get you to move your body out of its normal plane of motion. The plank, also called a front hold, hover or abdominal bridge, is an isometric core strength exercise that involves maintaining a position similar to push-up for the maximum possible time. The plank or planking is an exercise that involves your core muscle, improving your strength, balance and endurance. The exercise is so, so named because, when done properly, you strengthen your entire body and maintain regularly, just like a plank of wood. Like other calisthenic exercises, it requires no extra equipment or weights, making it a convincing from of straining training if you are on a small budget or a traveling. To perform a basic plank, lie on a lever surface, belly down, position your feet so that your toes touch the floor. Bring your hands forward near the sides of your head so that your forearms lie on the floor, parallel to another and to your soul. Slowly and gently, lift your torso and your legs off of the floor, putting all of the weight on your toes and your forearm and elbows. Keep your body straight, imagine it as a single rigid plank, from the top of your head to your heels. Hold the position for at least 5 seconds, breathing steadily throughout. When you complete the position, gently bring your torso back to the ground. Work up holding the position for 60 seconds. Cross crunches require you to lift one shoulder of the floor. When you're at the gym, crunches probably aren't one of the exercises in your workout regimen that are you await with glee. They are not easy, but if it's a strong set of apps you're after, it's important to include them in your core exercises. A common variation of crunch is the cross crunch, which you can use to build your muscle and add a little variety to your workout. Basic crunch. Visit any gym at any time of the day and you're bound to see at least one person lying on a mat performing a set of crunches. This common app exercise is convenient because it requires no equipment. To perform a crunch, lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet planted on the ground. Cross your arms over your chest and engage your abdominal muscles to enough to lift your shoulders and upper back of the ground. Cross crunch to properly we perform a cross crunch beginning the basic crunch position, lying on the floor on your back and with your knees bent, instead of lifting both shoulders of the floor at the same time. Contract your abs and lift your left shoulder up while raising your knee, right knee, but keeping the leg bent. Pull your left shoulder and right knee toward each other and then return to the starting position. Perform another crunch because with your right shoulder and left knee to complete one full of wrap of exercise. The side plank is a great exercise for strengthening the oblique abdominal muscle, which don't get work during abs exercises such as crunches. You will hold your body on your side in straight position, 
supported only by one arm and the side of one foot. Strong oblique lifts can be quite useful as core stabilization muscles. Beginners must build the strength and balance needed with warm-ups for the oblique lifts and modified side planks before progressing to the side plank. You can include side planks in your core exercise routine, pilots or yoga practice. Benefits The primary muscles used are the obliques, along with the glutes medius and gluteus maximus, to stabilize the hips. Your shoulder stabilizer keeps your aligned as well. This exercise doesn't put pressure on your lower back or neck as many core exercises do. In pregnancy, the side plank is preferred as it places less stress on the center abdominal muscles. It is a balancing exercise and you will be building your balance and coordination. This exercise can help you be able to sustain good posture and ease of movement by building a strong core and better balance. A squat is a strength exercise in which the trainee lowers their hips from a standing position and then stands back up. During the descent of a squat, the hip and knee joints flex while the ankle joint dorsiflex. Conversely, the hip and knee joints extend and the ankle joints plant flexless when standing up. Squats are considered a vital exercise for increasing the strength and size of your lower body, muscle as well as developing core strength. The primary agonist muscle used during the squat are the quadriceps femoris, the adducator magnus and the gluteus maximus. The squat also isometric uses the erector spine and the abdominal muscles among others. The squat is one of the three lifts in your strength sport of powerlifting together with the deadlift and the bench press. It also considered a staple exercise in many popular re reaction exercise program. The movement begins from a standing position, weight is often added, typically in the form of a loaded barbell or but dumbbells and kettlebells may also be used. When a barbell is used, it may be bracketed across the upper trapezius muscle, termed a high bar squat, or held lower across the rail deltoids, termed a low bar squat. The movement is initiated by moving the hips back and the bending the knees and the hip to lower the torso and accompanying weight, the returning to the upright position. If you ever knelt down to tie your shoes or seen someone propose a, on a bent knee, you are familiar with the lunge. The lunge is a single leg body weight exercise that your works, your hips, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and core the heart to reach muscles of your inner teeth. Lunge are, can help you develop lower body strength and endurance. They are also a great beginner move. When done correctly, lunge can effectively target your lower body muscles without placing added strain on your joint. While studies on this questionable exercise are limited, we did uh, to up a study on swimmers. In 2015, researchers figured out that the loose warm who warmed in the eight squats or lungs had faster swimming times. Not too stabby for such a simple exercise. Stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Engage your core. Take a big step forward with the right leg. Start to shift your weight towards as so heel hits the floor first. Lower your body right tight in the parallel to the floor and right shin is vertical. It's okay if the knee shifts forwards a little as long as it doesn't go past right toe. If mobility allows, lightly tap left knee to the floor while keeping weight in the right heel. Press into the right heel to drive back up to starting position. Repeat on the other side. Traditional push-ups are beneficial for building upper body strength. They work the triceps, pectoral muscles and shoulders. When done with the proper form, they can also strengthen the lower back and core by engaging the abdominal muscles. Push-ups are fast and effective exercise for building strength. They can be done from virtually anywhere and don't require any equipment. Doing push-ups every day can be effective if you're looking for a consistent exercise routine to follow. You will likely notice gain in upper body strength if you do push-ups regularly. 
For the best result, continue to add variety to the types of push-ups you do. You can also follow a push-up challenge, where you can gradually increase the number of push-ups every week. You can work up to doing 100 reps in two months. One risk of doing any exercise every day is that your body will be no longer challenged after the while, a while. That increases your risk of planting when you no longer gain the same benefits from your workout. This happens because your muscles adapt and improve their function when they are stressed, as they are when you are weight lifting or doing other exercises like push-ups, for example. So it's important to continue to challenge your muscle to improve your strength and physical fitness level. If you're going to do push-up each day, having the correct formula is also important. Doing push-ups without proper can lead to an injury. For example, you may have experienced lower back or shoulder pain if you don't do push-ups properly. If push-ups are too difficult at first, modify the exercise. Do them on your knees or against a wall. Want an exercise that will boost your app game like a triple Americano boost your productivity? Look no further than the Russian twist. The Russian twist targets all your muscles in your core making it a great abs exercise when you're tight on time. Even better, this move strengthens and stabilizes your spine for a core that's both fit and functional. How to? Sit on the floor and bring your legs out straight. Lean back slightly so your torso and legs form a V-like shape, bracing your abdominal wall to engage your core. Balancing here, twist your torso from side to side without moving your legs. Form teams. Move slowly and breathe, says the know -who. Don't disnate your core with fetish sets in. Reps, sets for the best results. Aim for 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12. More on that below. Benefits or for Russian twists. Russian twists strengthen your core, obliques and spine. It's a total ec core exercise that also works your balance, builds your stability in your spine and trims your midsection at all once. High knees are a cardio-intensive exercise performed at a fast pace. It engages your core, strengthens all your muscles in your legs, gets your heart rate up and improves momentum, coordination and flexibility. Because of the many physical benefits, high knees are incorporated into a wide variety of workouts. There are also relatively easy exercises to perform because they can be practiced anywhere. No gym or equipment required. There are two steps. Step first is stand with your feet hip width apart. Lift up your left knee to your chest. Step two, switch to lift your right knee to your chest. Continue the movement, alternating legs and moving at a sprint or running pace. An excellent way to strengthen your abs and core without putting strain on your lower back. If you ever seen a beetle desperately trying to right itself after ending up on its back, you'll have some idea of challenging of the dead bug exercise. Those insects with a strong call survive, those who skimped one too many workouts are food for the crows. No matter how much you struggle with the dead bugs, it's unlikely a bird will swoop down and eat you, so there's really no reason at all not to give the a try. The dead bug is a great way to strengthen your abs and core without putting strain on your lower back, which can be concerned with sit-ups and many other common ab exercises. How to do it? Lie flat on your back with your arms held out in front of your pointing to the ceiling. Then bring your legs up so your knees and bend are 90 degrees angels. This is your starting position and it's vital to get your back as flat against the floor as possible. You shouldn't be able to get a hand in between your back and the floor, and you need to maintain this position. Slowly lower your right arm and left leg at the same time, exhaling as you go. Keep going until your arm and leg are just above the floor, being careful not to rise your back off the ground, and slowly return to the starting position and repeat with opposite limbs. The dead bug might be quite easy for the first couple of reps,
but if you keep your core engaged, move slowly and avoid raising of your back of the ground, you'll be surprised how hard it is. Aim for the free time set to the five on each side, or just keep going until the shaking in your abs get too much. To have as many videos as possible, which enable you to have as much as knowledge about your health starting from different nutritional recipes, different diets to different types of exercises, to have a more vital body and immunity that stronger you are, so be a part of our channel, be an active part of it, of it by sharing, comments or even like with a lot of love from our Beator group.